Ms. Rulebuhile Senyani from the Development for Peace Education said it came to their realization as NGOs that the Ulan Mohe saga has been ongoing, leaving scars within the farmers. Hence, today's roundtable to discuss the regulations governing Ulan Mohe marketing. The leader of opposition, Honorable Matibedi Mukhotu, says farmers complained that they were not given ample time to build confidence and trust to the only broker that the government had proposed to buy wool in the country. On the same token, on behalf of the farmers, Mr. Mukwinihi Tinyani confirmed that they had advised the government to consider beginning with a few wool sheds than the whole country. Confidence. <laughs> Kim <laughs> Meanwhile, the Minister of Small Business Development, Honorable Chalani Pori, highlighted that the farmers are the ones who denied their inclusion by the government and hindered marketing of wool and more hair. However, he remarked that now that the government formulated a subcommittee on wool and more hair issues, they collaborate perfectly with the farmers. The Minister of Agriculture and Food Security, Honorable Ditwane Ditwane, along with the Deputy Prime Minister, Dr. Munyane Muleleki, thanked the hosts of this roundtable, which is a good platform in finding the long-term solutions in wool and mohair issues. <laughs> I am Lerato Molife reporting for LTV News Maseru.